we are playing the Boogeyman of Modern. We are playing Tron. So I'm kind of excited. Uh, this is a deck that I want to say three or four years ago almost. I actually owned uh, and never played. I was just like, eh, never really wanted to play it, stuff like that. And I ended up selling the deck, never really playing the deck. And one of the things that I try to do in Magic is I try to play with all the major archetypes as much as I can. And I kind of realized that I don't actually play a ton with Tron. And it's been one of the best decks in Modern for a long time. So today I'm going to play the deck. Um, I tried to find basically the most stock list that I could find. Um, there's a few cards that are obviously different than some stock lists. But let's kind of just talk about the cards and what they're trying to do. So uh, let's go over the lands first because, you know, it's Tron. Uh, we even have these black bordered beauties here. So I have uh, four tower, four power plant. Four mine for our Tron lands, um, and then I have one Sanctum, uh, one Ghost Quarter, and five forests. So uh, the back in the day, the Tron used to do, was green red, and then it was green black um, for collective brutality. And now it's just mono green. You know, you just want to be consistent. You just play a couple of dismembers. Maybe you don't play any dismembers, uh, things like that, and you just kind of play Tron and win. <laughs> I, I I don't know. I haven't played a ton of the deck, but uh, you know, between Expedition Map uh, and Ancient Stirrings, you're really able to find your Tron Priests pretty well, as long, along with Sylvan Scrying. Chromatic Star and Chromatic Sphere uh, allow you to kind of dig deeper through your deck uh, as well, kind of being these cantrip effects. Um, so, you know, the, the deck is pretty good at finding the pieces that it needs. You know, so one of the things, you know, you have a Sanctum of Ugin that, you know, you can go and find if you want to have an Ulamog turn or things like that that are coming up. Uh, the, the deck's kind of just like a big mana deck. Uh, you know, you got a couple, of, a little bit of aggro hate with the Worm Coil Engines, Oblivion Stones, Dismembers can be good in certain matchups. Uh, kind of got an extra Eldrazi here with a World Breaker. Uh, Walking Ballista was a huge addition to this deck, allowing it to play Lust Removal. It might actually be the reason that it's mono green now, to be honest. So tons of different things that are going on in the main deck to really help Tron out today that it didn't have, you know, back when I was trying to play it. Um... The sideboard from the list that I took has three Spatial Contortions, two Thought Not Seer, three Thrag Tusk, one Gaius Revenge, one Emrakul the Promised End, two Gut Shot, three Nature's Claim. So I want to talk about a few of the cards in this list, um, the, in the sideboard specifically. One of them is Gaius Revenge. I find this to be super interesting with Blue Eyed decks playing so many Field of Ruins. Um, you actually are really easily getting double green. Uh, and so if you can like kind of hold off on your Tron pieces, uh, you can actually cast this card probably pretty early against them. And they don't really have a really good answer for it outside of Terminus and Supreme Verdict. So um, that's that's an interesting inclusion. Thrag Tusk is obviously great against the aggro decks as well as the mid-range deck. Thought Not Seer is good against the mid-range decks and the control deck. Spatial Contortion, obviously anti-aggro. Uh, Gut Shot is something that I think that you probably bring in against Affinity as well as some of the other decks. If you think about something like Hardened Scales or, um, or something like uh, Infect... Uh, it's a it's good to have that zero mana interaction on turns that you could just die. So pretty happy with all of this and the things going on. Uh, I'm excited to learn. So this is the beginning deck tech. At the end of this stream, we'll actually go over the deck and talk about the things that I've learned as we're going through. We'll, we'll also talk about the things that I'm learning. So let's get started. All right. Troning people. I won the die roll. I'll elect to go first. Our opponent is a big giant Eldrazi, so that's kind of scary. So here we have Oblivion Stone, Oblivion Stone, Dismember, Ugin, Ugin, um, with Dismember. I, I don't think this hand is a keep. I think this hand's a pretty easy mulligan. Uh, here we have Plant, Map, Star, Sphere. I think this is a keep on the play. Um... We need to basically draw a land quickly. We have stirrings uh, after the sphere. So I'm going to lead with sphere. It could be wrong there. It could be correct to lead with map, actually. I'm not sure. Um, I'm, so for, we're going to keep. I think we're going to put that on the bottom. So, I, I, d I actually don't like leading with map, because we don't have the second land. So, I'm going to lead with Sphere. And 
we will crack sphere to storing so we miss our land drop. Goblin guide. Give me land, goblin guide. Woo, forest. That's nice. I would assume this matchup is not great for SK1. Another forest. Go ahead and play the one of those forests, cast Agent Stirrings. Uh, we'll grab mine. We can play this map now. Next turn we can, we'll have Tron technically next turn. Um, we'll see what that means. So I don't actually want to play this star now. Um, so we'll have eight mana with this next turn. Uh, no, yeah, eight mana next turn. So maybe I just play and pass. Is there a reason to crack sphere now? So if I draw, I mean, I'm not going to play a Walking Ballista if I draw it anyway, so I think I just pass. Okay, so they attack. There's a Karn on top of my deck. I don't really need that Karn. Although I guess I could draw it. There's like probably not a reason not to draw it. Is there a reason not to draw it? I don't think there is. Oh, but I actually need to crack this map too. So let's draw a card. Let's crack this. Power. Oh, oh, I did that. I didn't do that in their end step. I'm so stupid. That was so bad. Okay, so we play Ugin and hopefully don't die. Do have Ulamog next turn. So they bolt, and then we die if they have bolt bolt. Is this gain life? So, I mean, if they have bolt, we lose. And there's, like, not really a lot we can do about that. not have bolt oh sick I won that game go team go team I suppose um so I assume they have blood moon they have Eidolon too this kills Eidolon and it kills that um 
So let's just, let me just board how I think I'm supposed to board, and then we can talk about it. I definitely don't want that. Um... All of all of my cards seem good in this matchup. Probably this probably is not like that great though. Uh, I definitely want matching arts. Haha. <laughs> World Breaker seems pretty bad. I think this member is probably just worse. Actually, like, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe Oblivion Stone is just bad. So, like, Nature's Claim does two things in answering Blood Moon and Eidolon, but maybe I don't want all three of them. I'm trying to decide if I want O-Stone, because I feel like I don't want any O-Stones. If I don't want any O-Stones... How many of all of this do I want? I think... I think I'm supposed to board out a single Ulamog. So we'll try this. Like I said, I've never played Tron before, but this makes sense to me. I think Oblivion Stone might just be too slow. I think that World Breaker is definitely too slow. Um, and then we're kind of just like upgrading our, our big stuff package. It could be that maybe Karn's actually the one that's too slow and I'm supposed to have Ulamog. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but... If you have an idea in chat, please let me know. Do, 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 do. Our opponent has not submitted a sideboard. I could also just be insane. Like, it could be that you want all your removal spells, including those stones and stuff like that. I'm not, I'm not sure. I, I do wonder if Karn is just too slow, though, and what you actually want is Ulamog. Oh, too late. They submitted. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. They are deciding whether they would like to play first or not. Which is an important decision, if you really think about it. You know, they could go second. They won't, but they could. This hand seems mostly fine. Um, it's like, I kind of have to get lucky, but I don't think that you can mulligan this. Rift Bolt. Play the star. So, we have this Thrag Tusk now. Um, so now we have decisions to make. So, I can Stirrings this turn to try and find a forest or something to Stirrings again. Or I can Contortion now. Um, I think I'm supposed to Contortion now. Because they can only give it one Toughness. That could have been wrong. Um, the thing is, is like, I have double stirrings in hand. Um, maybe I'm supposed to like try and get to Emrakul faster. I'm not quite sure. So we'll definitely crack one of these, na this now. Cast the stirrings. 
definitely going to get power. So, I, I don't think I'm supposed to do this this turn. But I, maybe I am. So, if I crack now, I find another Tron piece, I can get Warm Coil into play next turn. But, I could also leave in Star in case they have Blood Moon. Which seems better. But, I think what's going to happen is we're going to get... A lot of lightning bolts to the face right now. That one's certainly less scary than Blow's Charm. All right, so untap, draw. So he drew another one, so I actually am definitely okay using this mind for green mana. So here, what we want to find is our last Tron piece. We want to find a power plant. Cool. So now we can play Warm Coil Engine um, plus a Sphere. Play Thragtusk next turn, or we can just actually we can just Ugin next turn. That seems just as good. We have three total cards, so if they go Charm. So they need, they need Boros Charm, Bolt Bolt to kill us. Oh, all right. Well, we'll just win the match. So that's, that happened. I, I would assume this matchup's worse for me than this. I feel like our opponent kind of drew poorly. Um, so that's too bad. Uh, yeah. All right, well, there's there's that. So let's go ahead and uh, update this. We're now 1-0. 1-0 with Tron. Locating an opponent so that we go to battle. That's my new song. I just made it up. Check it. Label albums dropping, you know, next week. Next week. Speaking of uh, things that are dropping, the prices at In Gaming when you use our code. Don't forget to use code CCMTG10 at checkout. And you can uh, get some awesome sleeves or play that. So check them out. All right, so we have lost the die roll with a two versus a three. Uh, we do have map and a and a uh, and a land. Um, I I think this is a keep. Like I think this is what you sign up with for withdrawn. Oh no. Oh no, what is happening to me? This match pretty bad. This is not what I would call a great matchup. Yeah, got that mono green, mono green Tron life, man. The mono green Tron life. Uh, 
Um, I think we just sack this now. I'm probably wrong, but let's go get ourselves a a tower and pass the turn. Peak! We're getting peaked on. It's so good. They know our hand now. So that's interesting. I wonder if that's like taking place of hieroglyphic illumination in their deck, uh, allowing them to kind of get a lot more information. That's kind of cool. Maybe they'll target me with the visions. That'd be sweet. Ooh, ghost quarter. I I would like to use ghost quarter's ability. Yes. Go ahead and play an O stone because that's what we can do. So I am going to play this land first um, to make, like, if they have Logic Knot, I want them to kind of, like, have to use all their manning on Logic Knot. It's probably not that big of a deal, but. Now the question is if we want to play this Ballista for one. I I don't see why not actually. Oh, you know what? There was a reason not to. Because now, we can't play Ugin next turn off of our map. That's a good reason not to do it. Duh, Spencer. Duh. Uh, okay. Sure. All right, so we need mine, and then we'll play mine and attempt to cast this here worm coil engine that will probably get leaked or something. It will resolve. Can't decide what that means. I will choose to grab a land. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now even if they... Now, even if they uh, feel they ruin me, I still have more stuffs. I will not pay the three for Logic Knot. I will cast this. Um, so if I get... I think it's just Karn. Like, we're to the point where even if they start Field of Ruining us, we can probably start casting the big things in our hand. So we have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 mana. Not quite 13. Uh, okay, so... 
I think we just cast Warm Coil Engine, although they probably have another Path to Exile, but that puts us... I think we cast Ugin. That's probably the one that I would be okay getting Cryptic Commanded. And their exile has three left on it. So we have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 mana. So let's start here. I guess that's actually wrong, because now they can cryptic bounce. That was stupid. <laughs> so dumb. I, that was so dumb. All right. Jace the Mind Sculptor, baby. Let's do it. How is that such a stupid play? Um, So now they draw three cards to ferry me. I lose. Not really, but. It's actually a pretty good draw, especially if they have to ferry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can like still draw cards and Ugins and stuff. Go to combat. I'm expecting snap path here. Uh, undo. I'm in combat. I'm in combat! What am I doing? What am I doing? Alright. Let's go to our main phase and see if we get negated or leaked. Alright. Start taking out their lands, I suppose.
They're certainly digging. Fairy. Nope, not to fairy. Hey, we'll play this. I will cycle it. Ooh, I might save that. Wait, do I want to save it? So what do they do with their... How do I see the chat again? Uh, how, do I, how do I see chat again? There we go. So they went... Well, duh. It's a brainstorm. Why am I even looking? Oh, scry. Well, so we have a couple of options. One of them is to get rid of this Jace the Mind Sculptor. I actually don't like that option because we have this ability in stone. So, instead I am going to target their hand. Exiled Island. So I will have three, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. Shuffle away, shuffle away. I think I will now exile Jace. And I think I will actually pass the turn with Expedition Map in my hand. Okay, they hit Tower. I miss, they get Plains or Island. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Gate. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> well, that's pretty good. But I think I want to crack map and have Sanctum in play when I do it. Um, well, the problem with that is if my opponent decides that it's worth it to field me, that would be bad. I mean, I can just go get Sanctum now. But then I can't cast... Well, I guess I can just sack Sanctum. What does Sanctum read? Let's look. So, Sanctum of Ugin. Uh, yeah, okay, it doesn't cost money. It doesn't cost money? It doesn't cost mana. Okay. Um, if that is the case, I'm going to pass. Get Sanctum of Ugin. I will play this. I probably did this wrong. Yeah, I definitely stacked those wrong. <laughs> no! Mono! Um, so here, I think it's correct to actually get World Breaker. Um, because it's, I can bring it back again and again. But... Oh, maybe that's stupid, because he has Path of Exile. That was dumb. Okay. Well, this is what happens when you've never played the deck before. But also, you should be smarter than that, Spencer. Sure, that's fine. Okay, that's definitely okay. All right, so we will keep exiling lands. What happened? star there's not one path left no all right, Terminus, you got it.
Sphinx's Wrath? What's happening? That is fine. You will also cast another Oblivion Stone. All right, let's draw Ugin. Um, yeah, I think this is the best thing against a fairy. Oops, wrong one. <laughs> okay. That's not going to work, though, right? Then they just all died to uh, in here? Okay. That's what I thought. All right. We got game one. I think this one's simple. We just board in the big stuff. We board in the big stuff. And I think we board out dismembers. Probably one of these. I think we don't want all the Yugans. Um, I definitely don't think we want all the walking ballistas. So, where does that leave us? Leaves us with a lot of stuff still. Hmm. So, probably board out another stone. Maybe we don't board in all the Thrag Tusks. It looks something more like that. That makes a lot of sense to me. I can dig that. Let's do it. All right, we got to play really quickly due to time. And uh, hopefully, you know, Get some wins. Get another win under our belt. Uh, this hand's great. Mostly just great. We'll just play tower map. Fair. Okay. Uh, that's fine. 
scrying. Grab mine. That is less fine. But we're going to be okay, it looks like. Did they get to play an extra land that turn? Okay, so we'll play star and then pass. And crack these. <laughs> yes, I would love to search and fail. Ha ha! I failed. I failed! Why is it not working? There we go. What? Oh, it's because I'm pressing the wrong button. Okay, there we go. Well, I'll probably wait on this one. We can concede this game. We did! We did. That was a good draw from them. All right. So, uh, maybe we want nature's claims. Maybe now. That seems so bad. All right, let's just go get on the play. I would like to play Brish, yes. I would like to keep.
Sand seems pretty decent. Uh, you know, we've got turn three Tron. Like, obviously, Damping Sphere would suck. Um, but Field of Ruin is less bad. Basically, they'd need Ghost Quarter or Damping Sphere to stop this car, and, or just a counter spell, but. That's the way they goes. That's pretty good for us. All right, so we already have mine, the new power plant. All right. All righty. Okay. Uh, let's target this. Let's cast this. Let's play this. This is pretty good for us. Uh, go get tower again. Play tower. Play worm coil. Play star. Um, we can get this. All right, that's a pretty good game for us. If we end up winning, if we don't end up winning, I'd be surprised. Um, it looks looking pretty precarious for our opponent here. They could continue to field of ruin though, and then path. That would be interesting. All right, 2-0. Got a little lucky there. Um, that was a good hand. They had tap lands. So, yeah, beat three Field of Ruins on that game. So, we are now 2-0. 2-0 with Tron. 
that's how, just how, just how the doctor drew it up, guys. Just how the doctor drew it up. I don't know why the doctor's drawing up things with Karin, but that's what's happening. So, let's, uh, let's go to match three. Let's go to match three. So that we can play match three. All right. Oh, there we go. I would like to play first, thanks. Oh, look at that. There's like a bunch of cards in my hand that are pretty good. I'll keep that. So, I think we do map turn one here. If we draw a Tron piece, we have turn three Tron. So. Anyways. Oh, it's because I have a Ballista. Okay. Dude, the guy's name is GG's? That's so cool. Okay. So, this turn, I like to play Star. And I like to pay Sphere, actually. Get the most out of my manas. Another blue-white deck. This, like I said, I think this matchup's bad for me. Um, paying cost. Tart, no, Noxus Revival. We're not playing against the same deck I thought we were playing against, team. That is not what's happening. That is not what's happening. What deck plays Noxus Revival Hollowed Fountain? It's got to be like the... Um, it's got to be like the... the Saram. I feel dead. I don't know what's happening, but I feel... Oh, is it eggs? Am I playing against eggs? Pretty sure this is eggs, guys. I'm pretty sure eggs is gonna crash my moto. Let's be right back and restart moto. That's not a be right back. That is not a be right back, guys. That's a be right back. Be right back, guys. So I logged back on, and this was my board. All right. Well, 
They have five cards and a lot of stuff. They have a lot of stuff. I'm just going to go get this now so they can go off. Got a lot of stuff to do, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I don't. I don't know how this deck wins. I've I've never played against it. Oh, they're gonna draw their whole deck though. That's happening. So we're gonna find out how it wins. We're gonna find out. We're gonna see it happen live. They're doing it live, guys. They're doing it live. It's exciting. Oh, is that how I die? That makes sense. It's my election. Ah, no, that's probably not how I die. I don't know. Should we look it up while they're doing stuff? Uh, Cheerios, right? Is the name of this deck? Modern Cheerios. What's happening? Why am I? What? Is he wasn't waiting for me to respond. Okay, it's a grape shot, right? Yeah. It's gotta be grape shot. They're just gonna grape shot me. Uh, I'm currently 2 0, but I'm definitely gonna lose this game to Cheerios. They're about to give me the breakfast. Look at all this breakfast. Look at all that breakfast. Yeah, giving me the breakfast. You can quote me on that. You can quote me. Sick. All right. So, spatial contortion seems important. 
don't even know that Nature's Claim actually does anything. Uh, these seem too slow. I guess they're fine, though. Yeah, I'll do it for the memes, so that if it happens, it happens. I'm fine with that. Dismember, that makes sense. Probably not need World Breaker. This card seems basically horrible. This is, like, definitely too slow. So I'm going to put out one. Uh... Yeah, it's probably better than Ugin, though. Ugin actually seems like Garbo. Is it the same mana, though? Well, I'm just going to split them. All right. Well, I don't think I can beat this deck, but we're going to try. I would like to play first. Uh, I will keep this hand. I will play mine. Play star and pass the turn. Oh, oh man. Um, probably I'm supposed to grab map. Play mine, play map. I'm probably just so dead. <laughs> like, that's so funny. All right, I'm just dead. Well, there we go. Paladin's so good. Paladin's the best. Oh man, now he draws two cards. Maybe he'll deck himself. I drew the Ember Cool, but it's not going to work. It's not going to work, Mason. It's not going to happen. It's not happening for us. <laughs> Wait, do they not draw a card with this? You may draw a card. No, bro. They're, they have the perfect deck. They'll win every game. Every game. Storm. So, uh, there's a movie called uh, the Lion King One and a Half. Yeah, that took me a second to realize. And uh, in that movie, there's a song that's uh, that the hyenas sing. That's like dig a tunnel, dig dig a tunnel. And uh, every time somebody's digging like this, I like to sing that song in my head. So, dig before the hyena come. Come on, come on, come at me, bro. I'm like so dead. They have like 30 cards in their hand. They literally have 30. 29, 30, 31, 
They're going up on cards, guys. I like that it's a main. It literally means they can't deck themselves. I also think it's nice to let these people go off. I think it's sweet. I would want to go off. It's like half the point of the deck is to draw the cards. Wouldn't you want to let, let your opponent go off? Oh, I don't think I'll make him target me with the storm trigger, so that seems kind of uh, mean. There you go, bud. GG, GGs. All right, so that was that was eventful. We are now two and one. Go again! Match number four! It was a great interactive match of magic right there. I'm really proud of our of us, of our team, and what we what we accomplished there. Yes, I would like to join the match. Yes, I would like to play first. This hand is precarious. This hand is precarious. I don't know what's correct. But I think... I think... I think it's a mulligan. And if we draw any land, though, nah, it's a mulligan. Ah, uh, this hand's a keep. That's definitely staying on top. We're playing against the, the a captain of the ship, the Mister Storm himself. How do you even beat a storm? We just lost the storm. Well, it's card with storm. True. Oh man. Am I playing against Gobbos? I will. I will kill this Legion Loyalist, I think. I would like to top deck a Tron land. Would that be good? Oh, we are playing Gobbos. Oh, we top deck the Tron land. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. <laughs> you know, if we draw Ulamog, we can cast it. That seems powerful.
Come on, come on. Legion Loyalist. What does Legion Loyalist do? Just trample, and they can't be blocked by tokens. But they can be blocked by this. Oh, dismember? Oh, did he get me with a dismember? But he's so funny. No, he didn't. He didn't get me with a dismember. Goblin grenade. There we go. It's like a dismember. Okay. So, I can crack this Sylvan Scrying... That all seems bad. It all seems worse. I guess. So I think due to these guys, these gobbles being in play, we should just attack. Uh, and then I think we should just start attacking our opponent's hand. So I was going to get Sanctum of Ugin and like try and get Ulamog and all that. I think just casting Karn this turn is better. I don't know what those Fragos mean, man. I don't know what the Fragos mean. I don't know what any of this means. I am not hip enough. Is Gutshot good here? Gutshot seems okay. Maybe it's bad. I don't know. Um, Probably don't need this Ulamog. Probably need one less stone. One less Ugin. Worldbreaker certainly seems bad. Less stones. They're, they seem pretty bad. I like keeping this as an as a one of. I'll probably just do it like this. Oh, nervous or worried. Okay. Today I learned something. Today I learned. So I I, I don't know if I'm sideboarding correctly against aggro decks with Tron to be honest. I well, this hand has Tron. Nothing else. But it also has a green land. Um, I have literally no idea if this is correct. This hand is Garbo. Good to know. I will mulligan it. This hand seems much better. Thank you for letting me know. Um, I think this is mostly... I think this is the bottom on the draw... Yeah, I think that's a bottom on the draw. Goblin guide? Oh, maybe it's a top because of guide. I didn't even think of that. Carning tree. Dude, sick. Again, bushwhacked. Turn one, take five. We have another bushwhack. Oh! We're getting eight whacked! This actually makes a lot more sense than what I thought he was playing. Alright, well, we are dead. He has no outs. Well, I guess we're not technically dead. I guess we could draw. So we can play. So let's do this. Uh, so we got Tron. We did 
not get worm coil engine. And kill us. We did. Lightning bolt? Goblin grenade? Anything? There we go. Goblin grenade. Okay. So this is definitely too slow. This might actually be fine. Um, Karn, you're out. One it uses out. This is probably how I want to do this. I would like to play first. This hand seems mostly okay. Nervous frog, huh? Nervous frog. So put a card on the bottom. So you're saying I have a chance. It's definitely leave up contortion. Kind of like a good news scenario for us, to be honest. If it wasn't a whack. Okay, so... I can Sylvan Scrying, let's just think here. So if I Scrying this turn, grab another Tron piece, then play map. Yeah, I, th I think so too. I think it's Scrying, play map. Then the following turn, I can Ballista for multiple and then Worm Coil. Yep. And chat agrees, so that's a two for one. That's what they call a two for one. Ooh, smashing. Okay, so if I play map and crack it, I can ballista for one this turn. I honestly 
think that might be the best play still. Yeah, I think it is. I need mine. Play this. Pass the turn. Go to blocks. I think I just block kill. Okay. So... this I guess I should actually crack this this turn uh, because if I draw like a walking blister or spatial contortion I can use it right now That's pretty good for me. That's really good. Okay. So this is, f we have f four, eight, 12 mana. And we got there. Beaten the 8-whack. Beaten the 8-whack. All right. So now we have moved our little record here to a beautiful 3-1. Losing to breakfast. It's, it's hard to beat breakfast, guys. Breakfast is the best. Uh, let's play our final match of the night. I don't know, man. I'm a fan of breakfast. Dinner is great. Don't get me wrong. Like, I love food all around. But I, I think I think I like breakfast better than dinner. Just, like, a little bit. Breakfast has... I mean, breakfast for dinner, though. Man. Man. I, well, I don't rush through my breakfast, man. I enjoy my breakfast. I just want to thank everybody who's watching tonight. I really appreciate it. I know Tron is hated. I'm just trying to learn it. Uh, we've already made some mistakes tonight. Um, no, we're learning. There's, we're learning. Uh, we're learning while we're winning too, which is really, really fun.
I love learning while winning. All right. Here is the finale. We lose the die roll. We play it against Captain Storm again. So good. It's the storm of a captain. This hand seems really bad. Well. I actually eat breakfast at work. They have a they have breakfast available. So I actually eat breakfast at work while I'm working. Every day. Um, yeah, I'm going to mulligan this. I think this is... I can do better than this. Um, this hand seems really bad, but I'm going to keep it. I will put that on top. <laughs> Delver of Secrets! What is happening in here? Grab ourselves a mine. Don't flip, Delver. Don't flip. Don't do it. Be a lazy, Delver. Be the laziest, Delver. Lazy. You want to be lazy. Yes. Lazy, Delver. Come on, deck. Let's cast Ulamon this game. Ooh, rug colors. Young Heezy. Young Heezy up in here. The young hizzy heezy. I actually am pretty sure that I need to kill that. I'm quite confident. I am quite confident that I need to kill that. And if they have the Genic Growth, I'm in trouble, but they don't. Didn't flip again. It's the laziest Delver, guys. Man, Rug Delver. Go figure. Is this a wizard? I actually don't know. That's a shaman. So we're not playing against wizards. We're actually playing against Rug Delver. Misty Rainforest to boot. We're just definitely playing against Rug Delver. Can't get mana leaked. Man, this is like all interact Delver. They definitely have Tarmogoyf in their deck with that. Man, that Delver. That Delver needs a demotion. It's a sad Delver. That is a huge, huge Tarmogoyf. This is the biggest of Tarmogoyfs. It's so big. All right. Let's go digging. That's a start. Man, I am going to get blown out so hard, so hard in this game by, uh, what's it called? Um, the one that counters with Ferocious, that one, Stummer Denial.
it's possible that I was supposed to crack star in case I drew the one that that's the Sylvan Scrying. That way I could uh, use all my mana more effectively next turn. Man, I haven't played against Rugdelver since, like, week two of Modern. Okay. So... Seven, eight, nine, ten. Is that true? How much mana is this? It's only eight, right? No, oh, that's ten. Okay. Well, I'll cast that then. That seems good. Shrug? I guess it's how you drawn sometimes. Probably just dead to double bolt still, right? Do, 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 do. Yeah, I that I did not count that before I drew my land to see if that would be ten, but it is in fact ten. I think that it's very likely our opponent has bolt snap bolt, but they do not. They still could, I guess. So, if we force our opponent to cryptic now. Okay. All right, what do we exile? Faithless, Lightning Bolt, Lightning Bolt, Lightning Bolt. So... Okay. I need to do some maths now. So we have 10 mana. This puts... So we go down with this. I guess I should crack this no matter what. So if I go get... Sanctum of Ugin... Does that do anything? Thing. Or should I just cast these two? And I could just cast this and leave up five. What does that do? How does that do anything? It protects me from like snapcaster damage? This is indestructible, right? That might be actually the best play. Oh, I definitely did that during combat, though, because I'm an idiot. Okay, well. So, we have... So, if I tap this... Okay, 
so I'm just stupid. All right. That was all wrong. All right. Well, we won't die to Snapcaster attack now. Snapcaster, Tarfire me. Okay, sure. Vapor snag in response. I can't have that vapor snag on my Ugin though. All right. Delvers, Snapcaster Mages, Tarmogoyfs. I think I like. What do I like here? I actually don't hate Gutshot. I don't hate a couple contortions. I kind of like Thrag Tusk. One less of those. Certainly don't want all of those. Those actually seem not the greatest. Is Worldbreaker even good here? I've worded that Worldbreaker a lot. That's something that I, I'm either doing wrong or the card's just not very good right now. This also kills young Paramancer. The guys are just actually great. Um, probably don't need all of these. Probably don't need this. Actually, Karn actually seems worse than that, though. Heresy! I'm boarding out Karns. They seem mostly bad against this deck. In fact, it could be correct to board them literally all out, board in like Thanos years. And like a spatial contortion. Like that actually could be correct. This hand seems mostly really, really good. Shock visions. Play mind map. Pass the turn. I wonder if they have spell pierce. I didn't see any in the cards that they showed in game one when I exiled. But I would assume they have some in their 75 because that card seems like pretty insane in this deck. I don't know if it's better than the other one for Tarmogwaif. <laughs> But I didn't see that one either. It is almost my bedtime, so I'm glad we are almost done with this league. Do we have Tarmogoyf to play? And we will go ahead and pass the turn to this Delver of Secrets. Quite confident 
going to flip you to a Serum Visions. Wait. I guess they just want to draw spells. So much damage to themselves. Just gonna blood moon me. That'd be sweet. Alpine Moon. That's so good! That's so much better in this deck. Hmm. I st I'm still going to go get it. Oh, I might be wrong due to the Tarmogoyf, though. Alpine Moon. That's like so much better for them than Blood Moon would be. I really like that. And these guys, Wizards is really trying to hate on Tron with all these anti-Tron cards recently. <laughs> That's great. All right. Well, let's play into their counter spell. We got a couple of turns. They have seven, so we need to draw Thrak Tusk, like very specifically Thrak Tusk, and them not to have double burn. There's one burn. Snapcaster, kill me. Azeret. Dude, this deck is spicy. Spicy, spicy, spicy. So I think Karns are mostly fine. Do I want claim for Alpine Moon? Is the question. So if I do this. I can like have a couple of these. Alpine Moon. That seems fine. Like, I, I would have won that game had they not had the Alpine Moon, so I think it's probably worth it to bring in. And their interaction with me is going to be Spell Pierce, so I think it's pretty safe to board out uh, Ugin all just all together. And I have all the removal. Oh. All right, here we go. 
here we go. This one's for not a trophy, but some marbles. Some marbles that were in the trophy is what we're playing for. I think. I think they were in the trophy. Honestly, it might just be worth it to board in all three of them over that Karn. Each card type among cards in your graveyard. Is this good too? Is this an Emrakul game? I don't think so. All right, I would like to play first. Oh, well, this just literally has Tron. And I'm not going to mulligan a Tron Karnhan. That's just not happening. So hopefully they don't have Alpine Moon. Draws a card. Just one on top, one on bottom. I will just cast the stirrings now. Ooh, Walking Ballista or Forest. I think it's better to get Forest. Well, I guess I have the map, though. I'm going to take the Walking Ballista with the map. Damping Sphere. So good. So good. <laughs> this Delver deck seems sweet though. It's got like a lot of sweet cards. Hopefully five oh. I wonder if this is this I wonder if this is Rudy. Delver, get the Delver away.
what were they going to cast? It would probably be Tarmogoyf. Shuffle that nature's claim. Well, you're not doing much sitting in my hand, Mr. Guy. Ancient Grudge targeting Walking Ballista. Well, I shall respond to that. That's a big time of Well, there goes another nature's claim. So we have one, two, three, four, five mana currently. This Delver deck seems like a pretty bad match for us, just as like a tempo deck that has access to like a lot of things we don't like. It's probably even too late to draw a nature's claim, to be honest. Because there's like probably a pretty small chance I don't have spell pierce. Oh, this silver deck is sweet, guys. Like the sweetest. Oh, there we go. Ugh. All right, well. Kill Tarmogoyf for two for one. 
So this costs three. Uh, we can't actually kill Carnivore this turn. We have to kill him. Wait. One, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. Yeah, I mean, like, we're going to lose to Spell Pierce on their turn, too, right? So, might as well just do it now. Oh, that did not work. Why didn't that work? I needed to kill this. Alright. We learned. We learned that has five toughness, everybody. That has five toughness, not four. All right. Let's open up this here treasure chest. And uh, let's call it a night. Uh, but before, before we do that, I will talk about the deck. So let's open the chest. And uh, talk about Tron. So we played against... Uh, round one, we played against, I believe, Blue White Control. Is that right? No, round one burned, round two blue white control, round three Cheerios, um, round four was eight whack, and round five was, of course, Teamer Delver. So, five different decks, uh, varying strategies, tempo, aggro, burn, control, and combo. So, just like getting all of there, if we had mid range, we just would have been it all. Just would have all, we would have had it all. So, um,. So we obviously made a couple of misplays uh, throughout this stream. Um, a lot of them were due to just me never playing Tron before. Um, but it might be something that I come back to. I actually really enjoyed myself on this one. Um, it was something that was pretty easy to play and talk about. So it's like, I, I, found, I thought it was a pretty good deck to stream. Um, yeah, I was pretty happy with it. Sorry for the lag. I could restart Moto if we want, if it's going to keep doing this. Oh, you know what? I should probably close my Chrome tab. That would probably help too. All right, let's just close Moto and we'll reopen it. Oops, wrong one. There we go. Okay. Well, let's uh let's talk about the deck. Let's talk about the sideboard. Um and let's let's look at this. First things first. Let's open up that chest. Ten play points. Fury and this. This is like a dollar. Is that right? Yeah, it's like a dollar. Cool. So, right. got, got me some play points going. And, uh, yeah, let's talk about the deck. So, First things first, uh, I think two dismembers is too many. I think that's why a lot of lists move to one. I'm not sure how I feel about the three Ugins. So, like, if I was going to make any changes, it would probably be another Walking Ballista, and then this would be something else. Um, I was I do wish that I had the Scavenger Ground. I know that a lot of lists play that. Um, I actually really like most of the sideboard. It's, like, pretty cohesive and made a lot of sense to me. It seemed super simple. Uh... The Ghost Quarter doesn't make a ton of sense to me. I wonder if that should just be the Scavenger Grounds. But if I'm sure that people watching know what it is. If you're watching the VOD, please leave a comment. Let me know what it's for. Um, but overall, I thought this deck was pretty simple to play. Uh, obviously, we made some mistakes. Um, but I, I think that with just a couple more leagues with this deck, I, I could play it pretty well. Um, Worm Coil was super strong. was pretty happy with it. World Breaker was boarded out a lot. But I actually think that it was like one of the reasons that we beat Blue White Control was the fact that we had it. So overall, pretty happy with that. 
And yeah, I, I think that this deck is really fun, really good. Um, I know people hate it. I know it's the boogeyman, but it, I actually really did enjoy myself. So thank you, everybody, for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and the sub buttons uh, on YouTube. And if you're on, you know, if you're watching live, uh, don't forget that sub, the follow button. All of that is really appreciated. You get those extra emotes and stuff like that. So see you guys all tomorrow with another stream from the Trophy Mages.